what is the best plate reverb plugin? That's actually a question that nobody has asked, but it's something that I'm really interested in. So uh, let's try to answer that today. This video is sponsored by Rich Wallet. The Rich Wallet is a light, sleek, and industrial designed wallet that basically keeps your cards alive. I personally use the titanium model because it's titanium, but they come in more than 30 different styles. Now what I really like is that the Rich team is so confident about their product that they let you test drive it for 45 days. And if you don't like it, you can return it and you'll get a full refund. You can get 10% off today by going to rich.com slash whitesea and using the code whitesea. As always, I'll put that link in the description below. I am pretty sure that I cannot really answer the question of what the best plate reverb plugin is. And the main reason for that is because I'm not running all of them. First of all, there are so many of them that the list, I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. Second of all, I cannot run them all. I mean, I, I can't run a UA stuff. I did get a few offers from people to use their universal audio equipment, but I really want to stay independent also in that manner. The other one is that uh, I couldn't run all the plugins because I sometimes already had a demo installed. I really have had so much frustration the last, well, two hours to get them all installed. Accounts here, are install managers there, forgotten passwords there, and also the integration with my password manager didn't work. <laughs> So the ones that I want to check today are the Arturia uh, Reverb Plate 140, the Liquid Lustrous Plates by Liquid Sonics. Uh, it's actually part of the Slate Everything Bundle, if I'm not mistaken. Of course, Valhalla Plate, the Hova IQ, large famous bright plate. Uh, they have more plates in here. Uh, the Waves Abbey Road Plates. The iKey Multimedia Sunset plates, there are two of them in here. The Oral River, which we are going to set to plate, of course, and then turn down the drive volume. Verberate, which we're also going to set to plate. The Denise Perfect Plate XL. And of course, the analog one, the, uh, the EMT that I have upstairs, and which is a good comparison, of course, because that's a real a plate reverb and also the, the the most known, the most recognized plate. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to export these samples uh, to Patreon, both the um, output from the plugins and the source, so that you can check the plugins that I didn't check in here. So uh, that will all be on Patreon. I'll link to the post below. Now let's check how they sound all together. <laughs> yeah, that's completely useless. No, I have them... Uh, all on their basic setting, their out of the box setting. And the only thing that I did, I went in every one of them to put them all to fully wet because I'm only interested in the result of the reverb. Also, I do support the argument that uh, with, I think all plugins and all reverbs, it's best tested in a mix, but that's a whole different level of, uh, of a video to make. Let's just listen to all the default settings. Okay. That one's shorter. Okay. And of course the original EMT. Huge differences. And I find it kind of interesting that if we compare Arturia, Liquid Lustrous, Waves and Ikey Sunset, that those are already pretty close to the original EMT. Of course, the reverb length is different, but in terms of tonality and feel, because that's maybe the best way to describe it, they get really close. And then the next one in the list would be the Denise IO. But I think there are some settings in here. Uh, I think it's detuning. If you, if you listen to the reverb tail, it's... Like it goes down. Quite honestly, they all have a different character. <laughs> now, why is this? Why 
do I now have a lot of plugins on the def default settings with different characters? Of course, it's their default settings and it's of course by the manufacturer. But second of all, because plate reverbs actually differ a lot. And at first you might not say this because the only controls that I have over here is a plus and a minus, so make it longer or make it shorter. One of the simplest things, but it really depends on the amplifier, the elements, the way it's tensioned. So you need to tension the plate in such a way that it's, that it's tuned. And there's even a difference, like if you open the box or close the box. My plate reverb has a closed box around it, um, but I've also heard open box plate reverbs and they sound different again. So there's already so much difference in, in plate reverbs themselves. And because there is so much difference, you also see in the plugins that developers have to include a lot of settings in order to, to modulate all of those plate reverbs. So what I'm going to try to do now is trying to, to match every plugin to my EMT, uh, see how close I can get. This is a dangerous job to do, definitely on YouTube, because again, it's very difficult. It's so random, it's so... But I'm still going to try like, okay, how, how close can I get to my uh, EMT? <laughs> Right, so I've <sighs> kind of matched them up a little bit. This is like Mission Impossible to do. But what I find interesting is really hearing the different characters. And what it basically says is that a real EMT is not everything. I mean, I have one because I'm a freak or a geek or a nerd or however you want to call it because I just like the stuff. But it's not everything, it's just one color. And then the plugins all give a different color. And what I will do is I'll play the EMT and then one plugin, EMT plugin, EMT plugin, EMT just to reset our ears. And that also shows you how close some plugins get and how not close some plugins get, but do shine in their own way. All right, here we go. So first, EMT. Arturia. And I really like the Arturia actually. It, really comes close to the plate reverb. Uh, on the other hand, there's also not a lot to change from here. You have a few models like Punchy and uh, Modern. Actually, Model 2 sounds the most like mine. I'm not using the drive. Uh, you can drive it, of course. But my plate doesn't have drive because it's a, a modern op-amp based amplifier. Next one, uh, EMT. And the lustrous plates. So sounds different. Actually a few things to tweak in here, like uh, you've got your EQ, you've got your reverberation, your, your dampening, your frequency dispersion, which is interesting to hear what, what happens when you, when you uh, change that. Like, I don't know how to really describe this, but yeah. And also you can change your highs on the output. All right, EMT, Valhalla, which has a completely different attack. And I'm looking in here, like uh, I'm, I'm just using a, a, a plate B, but let's say we're doing plate C or plate A, or we're changing to a steel plate. Like it still has that, that attack is a bit different from this. There's a little bit of a fade in to the attack. Let's see uh, if we can get a soft attack now. I think brass is the, is the one that gets closest. Let's compare it one more time. So EMT. Yeah, it, it's, it's still different. But again, that's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. All right, next one, EMT. Hofa. Like with the Hofa, there are so many options and so many settings that it's like, 
I mean, my analog reverbs really have some trouble with keeping up with the HOFA because of the amount of settings that it has. But if you then want to simulate your own EMT, why should I actually do that? Simulate my own EMT? I have one upstairs. Anyway, it's very difficult to find one, but I find this one sounding really good. The mix is played. Uh, impulse response reverb, whatever. It sounds really good. It's, it's not the plate, but it sounds just really good. It's, it's pretty bright. I like it. Maybe depends on the song a little bit shorter. Uh, next one, EMT. Waves. So the waves one is a little bit brighter, but definitely not bad. Definitely not bad. As always with waves, you do get the, the room with it as well, with the tiles and stuff. And yeah, this is not a snake oil video. All right, uh, EMT. Ike Sunset. Again, different. Let's try the other one. Brighter. Very nice one as well. Not a lot to modify, so it's more like it is what you get with a few filters and stuff. EMT. Oral, Oral River. It's also completely different. Uh, uh, and also a lot of settings and with reverb all the settings of course uh, uh, chain together so if you change one thing then the function of the other one changes as well it's already difficult to do that with a round side machine and i mean look at the amount of settings that i have over here like At least there is a lot of stuff that you can make with this one. It's not like a one trick pony. EMT. And Verberate 2. Very powerful, a little bit louder, I think, as well. Also, really, you can hear that this one, at least from what I'm hearing, it's more based on a, on a hall. You can all see that over here, like with Algorithm Legacy Hall. And you can only choose between two hall ones. And of course, the early reflections come from a stereo plate, but it's like, it really, it's, it sounds more like a hall than like a plate, which is really different. All right, EMT again. And Denise, the last one. What I find really interesting from the Denise one is, is the decay. It's like... Whew. I'm using the simple drum plate preset, by the way, and with a tail of two and a half seconds. And what I really see with the perfect plate is it doesn't matter what you do, but it really has that interesting, interesting decay compared to the other ones. All right, so that's my shootout for uh, plate reverbs. I can do so much more. I mean, there's an almost endless amount of uh, plate reverb plugins, and they're is an endless amount of ways to try this out. I really like doing it with a snare because it's a short impulse and it really shows what the reverb is coming up with. But yeah, I'll link to all the files down below in Patreon so you can make your own uh, demo. And I would also love to hear uh, your feedback on these type of comparison videos. Because if you all like it, I would love to do more of these uh, with different types of plugins. But again, there is so much difference in all the plugins that it's really difficult to make these shootouts. On the other hand, it's also very interesting to really see that all these plugins do have their own character and their own flavor, which does justify buying them all for your bundle. Uh, but as you all know, I'm not a huge fan of having a lot of different plugins, uh, most of all because of the maintenance of it. And because I wanna really know what I'm using. So yeah. Um, that's it for this video. That's all that I wanted to show and share today. And as always, I did this video completely independent from all the products and manufacturers that I showed today. I mean, all of these brands don't know that I'm making this video and that I'm going to publish this video. They don't know it. And I would like to keep it that way. And in order to do that, uh, I need your support. There are multiple ways to support the channel and me. Down below are affiliate links. And if you click on one of those links and then buy something in those shops, a little bit gets kicked back to me. What you can also do is join the fan club on patreon.com, which I will link over here. And on Patreon, you get things like early access to videos, answers to your questions, some other stuff. But most of all, you're supporting the channel. Last way to support the channel and actually the whole YouTube platform is by watching more videos. So link one of my videos over here. Thanks a lot for watching this one. Keep pushing. Don't forget to subscribe and bye bye.